Could someone in Hawaii hold the key to solving the decades-old case involving the murder of a woman and three little girls thousands of miles away? Investigators hope so. This is New at Nine. In 1985, the bodies of a woman and a young girl were found in a barrel in New Hampshire. Fifteen years later, in 2000, another barrel was found in the same area. This one had the remains of two girls. Investigators put together these composites of the victims. But to this day, they have never been identified. DNA shows the woman is related to two of the girls, but the DNA of the third girl shows he was the daughter of this man, Terry Rasmussen. Investigators believe he murdered all four of the victims, but he can never be charged with the crime since he died several years ago in prison after being convicted of killing his girlfriend in 2003. Investigators are hoping that by piecing together Rasmussen's past, they can identify the victims found in the barrels. You know, as we said early on in this case, uh, this case is in, it's in a backwards mode. Usually we start with the identity of our victims, learn the identity of our killer. We have a lot of information about our killer now, and we're hoping that leads us to our victims. So where does Hawaii fit in in all of this? They say he moved here sometime between 1967 and 1968 to live with his parents. He got married in 1968 here. And he may have worked as an electrician before moving to Arizona in 1969. We're told he went by many other names over the years, so he may have used an alias when he was here. If you recognize him, or maybe you kept in contact with him over the years, any little bit of information you have may be the key for cold case investigators trying to find out the identity of these little girls and the woman who was found with them. And we've posted all the contact information on our website, khon2.com. And there you can also see all the photos we've featured if you want to look at them again.